Hey guys, Jarek here doing some more Halo 4. This time we're doing Big Team Infinity Slayer on Exile, and hey, I'm on the Manta Ray team. I know it's supposed to be red vs. blue, but I'm just calling it a Sharks vs. Manta Rays. I don't know why those are the icons. I really want to know the thought process behind them when they were like, hey, what, what icon should we have for the colors? Well, let's make it red vs. blue, because sharks are now red, apparently. And we did not start this game out very well at all. For some reason, Nose to nose crash with another warthog is going to make you flip over backward. Why? I don't know. Maybe the Gauss gun weighs more than the uh, the minigun on the other warthog. Otherwise, we would have had that warthog covered. We were on the Gauss gun. That Gauss gun is strong. Uh, it's it's pretty easy to aim now, and it definitely got a boost from the previous Halo games. Also, it sounds really weird. It's like a squeaky sound to it. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. You'll see it later on in the video. Uh, me using the Gauss gun, and I'll leave it to that. So I mentioned before, I couldn't make up my mind about which I think is my favorite Halo game, because Halo 4 just came out and I needed time to kind of get my opinion, full opinion about the game, and who knows, this opinion might change because 3 War 3 is going to be patching this like weekly, and they're going to continuously put out more patches for Halo 4, which I respect 343 for doing greatly. Uh, hopefully some of, the, some of the patches will come through, like nerfing the DMR, fixing the bolt shot, making the storm rifle actually usable instead of a pile of shit. Uh, so hopefully they'll do patches like that, and I respect them for that. But yeah, I think I've gotten enough time with Halo 4 to say I, I definitely still like Halo 1 multiplayer more than any other Halo game. Uh, something about Halo 1. Uh, perfection within simplicity, I guess. It's just everyone has that incredible... Whoa, hi Banshee. Uh, everyone has that pistol to start with. The power weapons are risk and reward. They're very slow, but they will kill you quickly if you do it right. But if you miss, the person's going to kill you with a pistol. Um, I don't know, just the balancing in the way Halo 1 feels. Something about it is really addicting and incredibly fun. I, I don't know if any Halo game's ever going to beat that ever again. I think 343 has done the best they could and come the closest out of, you know, every other Halo game, but th that's a hard thing to live up to, Halo 1's multiplayer. So, now I'm using this bolt shot. Like I said, this thing needs a little bit less range. Uh, it definitely does. Because you can hit people about a good 10, 15 feet away with the with the bolt shot. And it'll kill them instantly. I, I think they need to nerf the power a little bit so that it just takes the shields down. And you can basically do like a noob combo thing. Or just make it have less range. Uh, that would be an easier way to solve that. But when you start someone with a secondary basically being a shotgun, that, that does create a little bit of frustration. Alright, so the Gauss gun. This is what I was talking about. This thing, I had really good aim at first, and then my aim just kind of went to shit. Uh, but this thing is freaking strong. Uh, it'll kill people instantly. It'll throw vehicles completely out of the way. Uh, if you shoot a Warthog twice, I mean, it's just going to launch it across the map. It majorly messes with the uh, the physics on vehicles, and it's really, really funny. Yeah, I think I actually do shoot a Mongoose later on. So I was doing really good at first, and then for some odd reason, I just couldn't hit anything. Uh, so that, that pretty much sums up my games, that I had some really good moments and some horrible moments that I just couldn't kill anything. But that's, that's about Halo in a nutshell, though. Sometimes I'm doing great. Within the same game, I'll do great at one time, and then I'll just do freaking terrible five seconds later. I don't know what it is. So, uh, this thing, another thing about the Gauss gun is you can't look down that far. And I, my driver was driving like crazy, not really an excuse for a bad aim. But you can't look down at all, like, for instance, uh, there's a ghost... I think somewhere along here. Oh, there goes the mongoose. <laughs> you really send mongooses flying. Uh, really, any vehicles. Yeah, right there. I can't shoot that ghost. It's too low. So you can't aim down that far. You can definitely aim a little bit farther down with the minigun. And I elected to get out of the warthog here because it was on fire and about to explode. So, fuck that. <laughs> Alright, so I kind of lucked out at this part. I got a saw out of ordnance and then... A little bit later on, I actually found a, uh, a damage boost just kind of sitting there. I don't know if it was someone's drop. I'm pretty sure it was someone's drop and then they died. Um, I was going to say I don't know if it's someone's drop or just a random drop on the map. But again, I, I'm pretty sure it was someone dropped it and then died. And that's a tank. Not sticking around. <laughs> Tanks are... Uh, things in this game, I don't know what it is. The vehicles give the... Oh, there's a damage boost. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was someone else's. But... Vehicles in this game give the view of them looking impervious. When you shoot them, it doesn't look like anything's actually happening, but you are actually doing damage to the vehicles, uh, even though it doesn't look like it. So, 
I don't know. I'd just make sure to keep shooting at them. Something will eventually happen. They're definitely stronger than before. I think the vehicles are a little bit... Just a little overpowered. Uh, I, I can't think of any exception to that besides the mongoose because that's not really useful for anything other than capture the flag. Just as a stealth mission. But the vehicles definitely seem to have gotten a little bit of a boost in the damage category. But they did also get nerfed. Uh, when you hit people with vehicles, ghosts specifically, they don't die. If you hit someone directly with a warthog, they'll die. But if you miss or uh, if you clip them, they'll just knock their shields off. So, yeah, that's that's changed. I really hate how they nerfed the ghost. At least the ghost boost. If you boost into a Spartan, you won't kill them. They'll still be alive. Uh, which is really annoying. It just knocked their shields off. Unless you hit them against a wall or something. Which is kind of frustrating. So I didn't do a whole lot with this railgun. I called a railgun in, but... Meh. I, I think I only got like one kill out of it or something. Or maybe two. I love this railgun though. This is easily easily my favorite new gun they have added in Halo 4. It's something about it's... I don't It's really easy for me to use. The charge uh, is about half of the Spartan laser. Um, I didn't do much with it. I got one kill and then died. The charge is about half the Spartan laser. It will kill a Spartan in one hit. It'll throw a vehicle completely out of whack if you hit it. If you shoot it in the front tire, it'll make it flip over. Um, so it's useful, but not... Uh, it's not really a original idea or anything, but... I don't know, it's something about it's just really fun and useful. And really cool. <laughs> also, this carbine. See, Big Team Battle... My biggest complaint about Big Team Battle so far is that most of the maps are obviously large to accommodate the amount of people on the map. Uh, this leaves a lot of wide open space where people are basically supposed to be sniping, and that basically means people are pretty much only going to be using the DMR and the, uh, the battle rifle and the carbine and the light rifle, but for the most part, people are pretty much only using the DMR, which kind of sucks, and that's kind of how the way Halo 4 has been panning out in general. I'd like a big team battle map that has more close range. Say kind of like what, uh, good examples like what close quarters for Battlefield 3. Do something like that where it's a large map, but mostly close scenarios so that you can actually use other weapons. But at the same time, all the medium range guns need a, a little bit of an accuracy boost. Especially the Storm Rifle. That thing is useless as of right now. It has no accuracy at all. You can use the Spreser in the Assault Rifle, but if someone else has the Battle Rifle, you're not going to do a whole lot. Assassination. I have not gotten too many assassinations. I never really seem to want to go for them because I don't want to wait for that animation to get done. I'm always afraid I'm going to die before that happens. So it looks like we're about to win. I think we only need one or two kills and a, this might actually be the last kill of the game. Yep, there we go. So, Team 1, it was uh, not a very close... Well, it was a decently close game, separated by less than 200 points. About 160. So hey, did okay. A decent game. I think I only got about 22 kills, but there's more Halo 4. Hope you enjoyed it. Later.